Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm coming at you guys with another tag, and if you couldn't already tell what it is by the title, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right here. Basically, I'm giving you guys a Christmas tag. So I have done a few tags, can't really name them right now, but you guys have already seen them if you've been following me for a while. So this time we're doing Christmas themed tag and I thought I'd go ahead and do this tag for you guys because as you all know Christmas is around the corner literally like it came by so fast it is insane so I thought I'd go ahead and answer a few questions so you guys can get the feel for how Christmas is for me and my family how I feel about it what goes on my interests that sort of thing so without further ado let's get into it So this is called the Merry Christmas YouTube tag and I don't know why I just told you guys the title of it But I did so anyway first question use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas <laughs> Did that count what is the best present you've ever received? I think it was last no two years ago. Yes, I think so Two years ago, I actually got a gift that I was asking for for so long and this gift was one of my favorite music artists, Lacey Sturm. She brought out her very first book called The Reason and this was a book that I really, really, really wanted ever since she announced it because she's one of my favorite artists first of all and I've been following her for a while you know I love her music I love her you know her personality and you know she brought out this very personal book about her life her journey with being Christian and you know because she's a Christian music artist and at first you know she basically struggled because she didn't really believe at first until she experienced something so powerful that you know she finally realized and all that stuff so she basically almost committed suicide until this experience happened and since that day it completely changed her life and I just knew that this was a book that I really really needed like I was very interested in reading about her experience with that and how she basically survived from committing suicide so I just thought it was really pretty and her story is really beautiful so I knew that it was a book that I really wanted and like I said I asked for it for a while since she basically announced it and I always thought to myself I really really want to get this book like I really want to read exactly what went through her mind and what happened in her life to get her to where she's at now and long story short I got the book for Christmas and I legit almost cried when I saw it because this was just that one thing that I really 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 was dying for and to know that Debbie actually got it for me like I was mind blown because I didn't think I was getting it for Christmas I thought like that would go completely over my family's head and they would get me something else but no Debbie went out of the way and got me that book and I already finished it I think I've read it like twice already so that's that's one that I'm keeping forever <laughs> what is the worst present you've ever received um so this gift I've was it last year or was it also two years ago when I got the book? I think it was the same year I got the book. And I'm not gonna say it was the worst gift because I didn't like it because I actually like all the presents that I get from my family. But this was a gift that I couldn't really end up using because I didn't have exactly what I needed to use this gift. And it was basically a blue microphone that my, was it my dad? I think my dad got it for me. He got it for me because he knows that I make he knows that I makes. He knows that I make covers on YouTube and he knows that I love singing, so he thought it would be a good idea to get me this blue microphone to help me with my covers and all that, but like I said, I couldn't really end up using it because we didn't have what we needed to use it, so kind of went to waste. I believe we ended up returning it, maybe. I have a bad memory, guys, so if I, you know, I may forget a lot of things, but that would have to be the worst present because I never got to use it. <laughs> As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? No, because each of my siblings and I always send, you know, our own list of things that we want to, you know, everybody in the family. So we never get like, my siblings and I have similar interests, 
but not so extreme to where we're like oh crap i wanted that one like what the heck no we're we have difference in our interests and little similarities so i mean it works out in the end <laughs> Sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. You might already know because you already saw this cover, but You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing Let's be jolly, deck the halls with boughs of holly I didn't sing all out because it is nighttime and my nephew is already asleep and I believe my mom is too, so let's not wake him up. Rename a reindeer. Hmm. Rename a reindeer. Let's see. Who do I want to name? Blitzen? Should I rename Blitzen? I don't know. What would I name Blitzen? Oh crap. Blitzen. Because first of all, what kind of name is Blitzen? Like, why would you give a name like that to a reindeer? Blitzen. I'll just name him Bob. I mean, Rudolph is the one standing out because he has his red nose. Why not have Bob stand out because of his name. Sorry Blitzen, you're now Bob. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? I think it's the decorations and the lighting. I just find it so pretty when all the decorations are up and everything is lit. Like, it's so pretty and I don't know, it just makes me so excited. Like right now I have these lights up in my room and then my little Christmas tree and I added these roses along where the lights are and it just makes it look so pretty. It just, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the spirit <laughs> whenever I see the decorations in general and the lighting. It just, it puts me in a good mood and I just feel ready for Christmas. I don't know, I just feel happy, I guess. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? when it's getting closer and closer and closer. Do you use advent calendars? I actually just bought one this year, like a few weeks ago, but am I using it correctly? No, because I guess you're supposed to put like candies and stuff. I didn't go and get candies, and I actually got the advent calendar for Pops, so I mean he gets the point now of how we're supposed to use it so I put it outside of my door so you know when he's getting ready for school or if he's awake before I am he can go ahead and you know move it down on his own I mean he gets excited about it so it's doing its job right <laughs> Recite one line from your favorite Christmas holiday movie okay son of a nutcracker <laughs> Oh man, there's cotton-headed niggy mu- <laughs> Cotton-headed niggy muggins. Ugh, there's so much more. But if you guys know those movie lines, then yay, because that is a good-ass movie. And if not, you are missing out because, once again, that is a good-ass movie. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's see. Share a funny Christmas memory. I don't think I have a funny Christmas memory. I think I'll just tell you like something that we do on Christmas that is considered funny. So basically, my family and I have this thing when it comes to gift wrapping and opening presents. So pretty much when we're wrapping up our presents, we'll go ahead and add like all sorts of things into the present. So none of us get a hint of what that present could be like we'll go ahead and put rocks in the present to add weight we'll go ahead and put some bags of soup we'll throw in some socks of somebody's like we'll just go and put the most randomest things in there just so none of us get a hint of what that present could be like get a hint of what the weight could be like any like shake it and guess what's in there like we cover it up so nobody figures it out. It's funny when we open the presents because we're like, what the hell? Like, why is this in here? Or we're just like, so that's what the weight was. Or I don't know, it's just a little funny thing that we do. Talk us through your typical Christmas day. So my family doesn't really do anything too exciting on Christmas. Basically, I mean, my dad just likes to stay home with the family and just watch Christmas movies and wait until it's time to open the presents because we open our presents on Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day is just, you know, any other day for us. But last year, we ended up changing it up a bit and we went to an event at Debbie's boyfriend's house and then we went to my aunt's house for a little bit, I think, and then we ended up coming home to open up our presents. This year, we're pretty much all working. We won't be home till like later on in the evening and I'm guessing we're just gonna stay home and then wait until it's time to open presents. So, nothing really too 
crazy keeping it simple I guess do you have any Christmas traditions not really <laughs> um I mean ever since Orion was born my mom started decorating the house like the inside of the house for him I started decorating my room a little bit you know even if it's just the Christmas tree and just some lights like it's a little something I don't know we just do a little something to get in the spirit and my mom does it to put Orion in the spirit because he is the little baby of the family so we want him to be excited what else is there that we do we'll go get our tree as a family I think that's it I mean just the usual that you do on Christmas I guess I don't know again bad memory guys sorry real or fake Christmas tree real all the time every year so I guess you could say that's another tradition is a real Christmas tree every year does that count? And I know people are gonna come and attack and be like, why are you guys getting real Christmas trees? Blah, blah, blah. We know that it's bad, but we prefer a real Christmas tree over a fake one. We just feel that a real Christmas tree is the perfect meaning of Christmas rather than getting a cheapy fake tree. I don't know, we just like the natural scent of the tree. It looks so pretty, it smells so wonderful like you get the actual Christmas experience through that tree. We just like a real tree, okay? I'm sorry. I know that it's bad, but we just we like real Christmas trees, okay? So don't come and attack. Pictures with Santa, yay or nay? I don't. I don't think I've ever had a Christmas picture with Santa. Alrighty, so that basically concludes this Christmas tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. I hope you guys, you know, learned a little something about me when it comes to Christmas time, like my thoughts, my interests, what I do, that sort of deal. Give me some fun facts about your guys' Christmas, how you guys spend it, your traditions, that sort of deal. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not-so-entertaining life or oh, my channel's life. I love each and every single one of you, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.